What is up guys? So today I'm going to be showing you how to change out old line on your reel. So as you can see this line has gone to complete garbage. And so we need to chain, change it out. It's caught a few too many fish. So for this though you need to remove any tackle or any bait or any hook or anything that's on your line already. So cut that hook off. We'll set that to the side, get that weight off. And then we'll take this guy out of all of our eye loops. We'll come down here, hold it just barely above the reel. Reel in like that. It'll leave a little bit out, of course, because we do need to tie it to some other things. And then what we have for supplies today, a power drill, and an old spool that used to hold wire. You can really use any type of spool. You can use your old spools that your fishing line came on if you still have those. But this is what we'll be using for today for today's presentation. So let's get into this. So in order to be able to use this spool, we did stick a bolt through there, we bolted it down, it's got another bolt there on top, and that makes it so we have a little leverage point, or basically a point that we can grab on with the drill. So what we're going to do, is we're going to go in the correct direction, get your spool on there, and then you shall tie your fishing line on, if I can find it, it's kind of invisible little stuff. Really just any little knot works. I just do like two of the first steps to tying your shoe real quick. And then maybe add a little third one just to be safe. It's not like we're gonna be catching fish on this stuff anymore. Just need to stay attached to the spool. There we go. Once you have your line tied on, you can start the process of, of taking your line off the reel. So first, flip your reel over or push the button if you're using a bait caster. You'll hold the line about here and you'll slowly, at first, start reeling it in. That will just be taking it directly off for you. Slowly increase your speed as you got it going good. I've made it through all the nasty line now so I can go a little bit faster. That's why it will stop pulling my reel towards me. And make sure you wash your spool so you know when it's getting low, so that way you don't all of a sudden just jerk your reel forward. So I'm getting pretty low, boom. All right there, that was it. I think they just broke my knot off too. Yep, boom. There you go, there's all the old nasty line. You can take that off. And now we shall install the new line. So now guys, we're gonna focus on the part of putting new line onto our reel. So the first thing you wanna do is you're gonna wanna get yourself one of these. This is a Berkeley portable spooling station. Pigment Bass Pro. Super, super helpful so that you don't have to go anywhere to get your line done. You can do it yourself. So we'll be using that. And first step to this process is, of course, also have your line. With me, I got six pound P line here. And then you're gonna take your spool. This is for a spinning reel. Spinning reel. You're gonna take your spool and you're gonna, if I'm twisting it the correct way. Nope, it's the wrong way. Here we go. You're gonna twist them off. Pull it off. Then you have your entire spool off, like so. With this now, you're gonna use this super cool contraption here on the um, portable spooling station. So what you're gonna do is these knobs, pins, whatever you wanna call them up here, will actually control that thing loosening and tightening. So I'm gonna want to tighten it around my spool. So see how I pinch them close and then those, those knobs grab it under my spool. And then on the back side, you got some washers that you're going to want to tighten up to make sure that your spool stays in place. So tighten him up, tighten him up real quick. Just snug him up real nice real quick. Boom. Then it is time to tie your knot. So you're going to get your line spool. Okay, you're going to get a little bit of line on and you're going to tie this knot. So on your spool, you're going to put the tag line facing this handle sort of thing. And you're first going to wrap it around the spool and it's going to be in front of your main line. So my, la my main line is going to be closer to this black circle thing and my tagline is going to be closer to that golden ring. 
then I'm going to switch sides and put it and switch them. So now my tagline is going to be closer to this black circular thing and my, ma my main line is going to be closer to the top of my spool. I'm going to wrap that around. Now I'm going to tie a blood knot. So how this works is I'm going to go down here and I'm going to grab these two lines together. I'm going to wrap my tagline around my main line six times. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six. Okay. Then from there, I'm going to take my tagline and I'm going to put it back up through this original loop up here at the top. And then we actually just made, here, let me get you guys a better shot. I'm going to put it back up through this original loop at the top. And then we just made a new loop. Push it down to cinch it. Pull it tight on both ends, and then you're ready to cut off your tagline. Make sure you do not cut your main line. Now we're going to be reeling in our line, our new line, onto our reel. So you're going to want to get your portable spool station set up for this. So first thing you're going to do is make your little heat compartment up here. So you're going to lift up that red tab, and you will dump out a metal rod. That will be explained in about three seconds. Then up here, you can actually just pull right here, and these things will pop out like so, and then you'll pull up down here or up here, and that will make it extend even further so. Then from there, inside these black tabs, you have these little red stand-up things that you can push it open with. This one has a little slot that you can slide your this red or metal hole in, and so we'll stick it in the one that does not have that slot. You'll then slide your you'll get your rules your reel spool and very important here when you are putting new line onto a reel you have to remember that if it is a spinning reel your line should always be coming off the bottom like we have here if it's a bait caster it'll come off the bottom but we're doing it it'll come off the top sorry but we are doing a spinning reel right now so make sure it comes off the bottom if not your line will be all backwards and you'll have a terrible time so you'll just punch it through the middle right there so that way your spool is on this metal pole and then you'll stick it down in that socket and you are ready to start reeling. It's a little red thing that will keep tension on your spool at all times so that way it does not fall off or be crazy wobbling around while you're reeling in. So let me just slide everything in place. Boom, and that is what I'm talking about is that little guy right there who's holding your spool in that exact little location while you'll be reeling. So now that we're ready to start reeling, there's something really, really important that you have to check. So this reel or this spool portable spool system can reel two ways with this handle here on the side. You have to make sure that the way you are reeling in matches the same way your line is coming off your spool. So as I mentioned, because we're doing a spinning, a spinning reel, my line is coming off this spool from the bottom, which means I have to attach it on the bottom onto this spool. So now let's get to reeling. While you're reeling in, you want to evenly disperse your line with your fingers. So you'll see I'll just be moving my fingers back and forth from right to left. And what I'm doing there is I'm making sure that the line goes on in an even fashion and doesn't clump up on one side of the spool or in the middle of the spool or anything like that. That will allow me to get the most line possible onto my spool and will also make it so I'll avoid backlashes or just tangles or all that kind of stuff later in casting. finally reeled all of our line onto our reel spool. Make sure while you're reeling in that you remember that this spool capacity of what you bought at the store, that spool, might be bigger than the one that's actually on your reel. So you want to go until it is filled up. So once we get there, we'll simply just come here and get our trusty handy dandy scissors, cut it right there, and then we shall come back here and loosen these trying not to let all that line fall. So I'm just gonna set them down there. We'll come back here and loosen these guys up real quick, those wing nuts that we tightened up earlier. I can just keep my fingers down there. There we go. And then we will, if I can, there we go. Loosen that. We have our spool back. So you'll wrap that line up around your spool, that excess, you got that awesome little line catcher thing. Let me see if I can put this in first try. I normally suck at this. Come on. Boom. Got it in, just like so. And then all you're gonna do is you will get your rod again, put your spool back up there, make sure that this little metal bar goes into that little socket 
where it is meant to go. So we shall just pop that on, wiggle them on, boom, there he is. You'll get your cap, you'll put them on, and you shall start, let me get him to slide on quick and start tightening him back down. And now, at this point, you've successfully put, taken off your old line, and see how nasty that stuff was, guys, it was getting tangles 24-7, and you've now put new line on. Like I said, I use P-Line, six pound, it's a fantastic company. Have a great day, and happy fishing, y'all.